Hello, my beautiful friends. Uh, this is Josh Rackliff with my nightly bedtime summary of my day. It is Sunday, June 6th. It's around 11.30 p.m. I shouldn't be doing this this late. I screwed up. I was on such a roll for a couple of days. Um, the past couple of days, I went to bed at like 10, and then I think at like 9, um, or at least last night at 10, and then was kind of cool. Like, I slept pretty intensely. Uh, what was I dreaming about? I don't know. It doesn't matter. Was I living in a hotel? Was I a professor at a school? Um, no, I think last night I was like on a... I was living in a Star Trek spaceship. I was like a captain or something and hanging... I was hanging... I was basically living in Star Trek. Anyways, but then I woke up at 8 because I heard some banging around in the kitchen. I'm like, well, you know what? That's kind of like 10 hours sleep. So, or at least 9, you know, if I fell asleep at the end of the podcast. And so that was a good roll. Uh, but I have screwed up. Today, basically, yeah, so I woke up at like 8, but then I made the mistake. Instead of just getting up and running, I'm like, oh, I'll just look at my phone for a minute. And then it's like 11. Um, and... Uh, Actually, my sister texted me around 10 and said, I'm going to go for ice cream with dad at 11. Do you want to come? I said, well, I'm about to go for a run, so I'll see. But I didn't really leave until like 10.45. And by that point, um, he was already gone, which was fine. I didn't want ice cream. I needed to exercise. So I went for my run, got back around 12.30 and just sat on the porch because, like we discussed last night, the house is so cold, I don't even want to go inside. So when they, my sister walked up and she's like, oh, she didn't see me. Uh, and that, and my mom walked up as well. And she's like, are you, are you coming or going? And I'm like, I'm back. Uh, and that was it. My sister asked me to, how to take a selfie and I showed her, but she's got Parkinson's so she couldn't quite use her thumb, but I showed her how to use the timer on the phone so she could press it and then hold, like, she's like, what if I want to hold a coffee mug? She couldn't understand how people take selfies with just one hand. Um, so with the timer, she can do it. And then, uh, that was it, I think. Eventually my sister left, and I just sat on the porch with my phone, and eventually I just brought my laptop out, because I was trying to, I have to convert files to be able to get my old Instagram stories onto YouTube. And, uh, and then I came in for dinner, and then my, after dinner, my mom asked, uh, are you, um... Or my dad was like, do you want to eat now? I think I he was on the porch. He's like, do you want to eat now or later? I'm like, well, whatever. He's like, well, I could eat now. I'm like, fine, I'll eat now. This is like 5 o'clock. And then my mom's like, oh, are you going back to your office? I said, yeah, the, the house is too cold. I can't go. I can't work inside. Um, and then I just sat outside until now. Um, at 9 o'clock, I was going to go in, but then the speed dating app was like, oh, you've got some dates and stuff. And so I did some of those. But then when I came in, I saw my mom had set out. I guess she did a bit of my laundry. And then she brought in these blankets and stuff. So I guess instead of, you know, just turning up the air conditioning, like, you know, maybe a degree, like 23 or 24 degrees Celsius, they're giving me like winter blankets, which is insane. It's just, but it's not my house. <sighs> just gotta keep my eye on the ball and get the hell out of here. Um, anyways, so that, that was it. So I did the little speed dating and I, yeah, so there was a singles group that was going to Petrie Island Beach today from noon to six. And I went last year for their last event. I went, for, got, you know, for maybe the last half hour, I played some bocce ball or something with them. And I just, I don't really know the group. And I feel like everybody kind of, you know, like my age, around this age, they've all got grown kids. Some of them bring their kids to the events and they've all been going to these events forever. So they all sort of know each other. I just don't really get along. And I don't know if it's that it's because they all know each other and they, and they have kids or if it's just not my kind of crowd. But then I don't even know who I get along with. So, um, but I did, I did have friends in university. That was fun. I wish I could go back there. Anyways, uh, so I didn't go. I thought I could go, but you could take two buses or I could take an Uber, but I'm like, eh, uh, maybe I'll just sit here and uh, and upload my old videos and catch up on uploading my Instagram. So, I mean, I didn't get a lot of it done, but it's like I'm trying to crank them out and hopefully catch up. And I still haven't gotten to the Brandy interview. Hopefully I'll get to that soon. Um, and then that was it. And then and then instead of the past two nights, I was good. I was good. I forgot to mention yesterday that I, instead of eating at night, I just drank a couple of big glasses of my Mio water. And then that was it. I'm like, okay. So I didn't have the bad indigestion in my mouth and everything all night. 
Uh, but then tonight around 10 o'clock, I'm a bit hungry. So I went in and I had like eight pieces of bread with cheese and margarine. And that's not good. And that's also not going to help me lose weight. It's like, I want to be in summer shape. Well, it's summer. <laughs> when are you going to lose the 20 pounds? It's June. <sighs> Dad damn it. And, and you know, not that anybody's going to find a, a middle-aged man sexy, but I might as well be as thin as I can be, you know, you know just even so I can fit into the screen on, on my Instagram phone. Anyways, <clears throat> all right, so who do we got? We've got Carnival MC, welcome. We got Anna, welcome. Schmall, welcome. Hello, Kathleen. Hello, Bunny. Hello, Snoopy. <laughs> like, is everybody a cartoon character tonight? Is that, are we, are we all the Looney Tunes here? Bunny and Snoopy? Um, let's see who we got. Lisa, that's a real name. And then Snoopy says, ah, that's why you said the beach today. Yeah. There's this group, and I'm not even sure which group it is. There's Friendly Ottawa Singles, and there's Singles of Ottawa. Um, and they do events. And this was their first official beach meeting of the year. And so they go to this Petrie Island beach, uh, I guess, every Sunday in the summer. Um, and one woman, Jenna... She was like, oh, you didn't come. I'm like, no. She's like, oh, you should, you're you not outgoing. And I'm like, no, I'm outgoing. I just find it very cliquey. Like, they just, they all know each other. And I show up and they're like, what are you doing here? It's like, so I don't know. I wish I could put together my own little group of a few people and just say, hey, let's go hang out at the beach. And, but I don't, it's so hard. It's, it's weird. Like, when you're young, obviously you're surrounded by other young single people. Everybody's friends. And then I guess you just maybe girls are better at having a little social group, but everybody has kids and then that's their thing. Because all my friends from university, they still, I see their pictures, they still get together. Like, even though they've all got kids and everything now, they still get together for beers and go to the Blue Jays games. I guess maybe I'm just not a, you know, not a social guy. But also, if you don't have kids, I mean, how, I can't call them up and be like, hey, I'm going to be your buddy now and sit there like the weird uncle. Ugh, I don't know what you do. I don't know. Anyways, uh, Raquel says, hi, hello. And Snoopy says, except I live in Pennsylvania. Yes, so that's unfortunate. I have a, a knack for meeting people around the world, but never people in the city that I'm in, uh, which is frustrating. But I guess maybe I'll start traveling and just be a, an old, single, lonely uh, guy. Some girl in the Philippines was messaging me yesterday, and she's like, I'm just worried about you. Like, what are you going to do? And, like, you're going to be alone, and, and what, what happens when you get old and nobody can take care of you? I'm like, yeah. Yeah. What indeed. Hello, K-Ban. Nice to see you. So that's it. That's my summary of the day. I hope everybody had a good day today. Um, oh, yeah, I already mentioned that I'm frustrated with the cold here. So, But what am I going to do? I guess, you know, my dad wants the house frigid and windows sealed for some reason. It's so unpleasant. But all right, I guess that's just my incentive to get outside and do what I can, and if I have to do my voice acting inside, I'll just suck it up for a little bit, and then try to get out of this house as much as possible. Maybe go visit Charles, or just go for jogs. I don't know. I mean, I shouldn't be sitting inside in the summer anyways. It's just stupid. Just the whole stupid life is stupid. I hate everything. No, positive. It's supposed to be jubilant June. I'm so happy, and everything's wonderful. Uh, Snoopy says, I love snow. I'll move to Ottawa. Haha. <laughs> no, snow... Uh, uh, I don't mind snow. It's not the snow. It's the cold and the darkness. Ugh. And my dad said he was sitting on the porch today. He's like, oh, it's funny. Like in the winter, you can't picture summer. And now it's the summer and I can't picture winter. And it's true. Like you sort of sit there and you're like, what is it like when it's minus whatever? And you're like just sitting on the porch and it's freezing. And it's, but I know what it, I can, I can still picture winter I think it's so unpleasant like summer doesn't it hardly seems real that it's summer now that you can just go outside in your shorts and run and it's so it's so short it's gonna be three short months and then August and then September October and then November I turned 49 and then that's the last year of my life before I'm 50 and then I'm saying I'm I, I'm 50 years old let me practice that I'm 50 hey how, how old are you I'm 50 years I can't even ugh but what are you going to do? I mean, it's just, it's not even a, it's, it's just time. I mean, everybody's going to be a year and a half older in a year and a half, right? Except if you're 10, you're going to be like 11 and a half, and that's fun. 
Ugh, no, what, okay, whatever, whatever, whatever. Um, uh, Snoopy says, you're single, you might f- love cold and dark if you weren't. Uh, yeah, I think you're right. I mean, that's that's what I keep saying, like, in the winter, I'm like, I find it so depressing and awful, but when I was in university, I loved it, you know? It's, like, beautiful and snow, and I'd have a date for the snowball, and... He'd be like, hey, let's all go tobogganing or let's go, you know, it's it's cozy or you would stay in. You'd have, you know, you'd have your girlfriend, you'd have some hot chocolate. I mean, there, if I had a family, OK, we'd we'd be cozy. We'd be inside. We would do Christmas. Like, you do stuff. But when you're single and alone, it's just everything's more unbearable. Like at least walking around in the summer alone, you can be like, oh, OK, it's pleasant. I can imagine, you know, where living in Costa Rica would be nice, but just just you know plowing through eight months of winter here alone oh it's just unbearable just unbearable uh anyways yes see yes snoopy so i don't know i don't know what to do uh one of the speed dating women tonight she's got three kids and um and i she's like do you have any kids i'm like no i i broke up with my girlfriends i never had kids and She's like, well, maybe you can still find someone to, to have them with. What was her point? Um, I forget what her point was. But I guess, yeah, that's what she said. Or, or, you know, but the problem is it's like it's not just about having kids. It's like it takes so long to meet someone and get to date them and get to know each other. And then I always said if I had a girlfriend, it's okay, let's travel. You know, let's go to Europe together. Do all those things you want to do before you have kids. Now I wouldn't even have time. But I guess it doesn't matter. I've had I've had all my life to screw around and go to Europe or whatever. I never did anything. Uh, and then there was this woman on Facebook dating who's like got great grandchildren, and she's like fifty seven. I'm like, how'd you do that? She's like, oh, when I was fifteen, I had kids, and then I guess her kids had kids at fifteen, and and et cetera, et cetera. Now she's got like six grandkids or something. I'm like, no, not even grandkids, great grandkids. I'm like, Jesus. But I guess that's what I could have been doing, just having babies for the past forty years. I don't know. Anyways, eight months of wonderful, eight months of woman would be wonderful. Yeah, and eight months of a woman would be wonderful. That's eight minutes of a woman would be wonderful at this point. Ah, uh, Tash, Marita joined. Welcome, and welcome Amazon 528. All right, so that's it. That was my bedtime story. Woman, question mark, ah, ha, ha. Uh, well, Snoopy is a good commenter anyway, so I appreciate the, the vigor in the chat room here. Gives me something to talk to and react with, so thank you. Oh, she meant winter. Oh, let's go back to her comment. Eight months of winter would be wonderful. Well, you live in Pennsylvania. What is that, like a tropical forest? I, you pretty much have eight months of winter, do you not? Where's Pennsylvania? Philadel- what's, what's a city in Pennsylvania? Philadelphia. Is Philadelphia in Pennsylvania? What's in Pennsylvania? I don't know. Anyways, eight months of winter, good. Well, move to Canada. You can have, like, 12 months of winter, basically. Um, all right. Uh, I guess I'll, I'll log off. It's 1141. Uh, it's, it's, this is ridiculous. How have I screwed up my schedule again? Now I'm going to be messed up tomorrow and not be able to... I haven't filmed my... Oh, the review of the keyboard, and I still haven't done the month of June for my audiobook. Central Pennsylvania barely gets anything. Well, all right, I'll swap with you. Whatever. I don't know how anybody... I mean, I, no air con in Vancouver houses. No air conditioning at all. I hate this house. God damn it, I'm so mad. Just... It's so unpleasant here. Ugh. I just wish people could be more... You know, okay, Let me let me think about what you're you know, what, what could you help? Maybe we can compromise. Maybe we can make you, you know, what, what would make you more comfortable? Not just be like, this is the way it is. And that's it. Ugh. Wow. So this is the most we've talked. Is this what it takes? Ha ha. Yeah. Uh, welcome Joe Foran. And, uh, Raquel says, good night. Yep. All right. Good night. Uh, let's be productive. To- Ugh, I've already screwed it. Now I'm in a panic now. Like even if I sl- if I sleep until nine, uh, and I don't even have, Ben Shapiro to listen to tonight because it's Sunday. What an awful day. I'm not in a good mood. But it's jubilant June. It's supposed to be positive, right? Ugh. All right. How do I... I can't even remember how to turn this off. I think it's the X. Okay, good night.